continuation. This is now the second type of a reverse curve. Again, and, uh, in continuation with reverse curve, this is parallel tangent. With parallel tangent, basically the back and forward tangent are parallel with each other. So, kung parallel yung ating tangent, most likely the angle of intersection for the first and the second curve are equal. So, if the angle of intersection of the first and second curve are equal, hindi ibig sabihin nun that the radius of the first and second curve are also equal. Okay? Magvavary yan dun sa ating common tangent or sa length ng ating common tangent. Okay. Now, we need now to solve the Next problem involving parallel tangent. So again, with parallel tangent, uh, uh, it could be possible that they have an equal radius or an equal radius. But with parallel tangent, lagi pong equal yung kanilang angle of intersection. And it will vary with their common tangent. So with that, Another example tayo with reverse curve. This time, parallel tangent naman. Sign muna natin yung ating fig, uh, problem. The uh, perpendicular. So, pag sinabing perpendicular, most likely we are referring to lines or tangents that has a perpendicular distance or vertical distance with each other. The perpendicular distance between two parallel tangents, which are your back and forward tangents, of a reverse curve is basically 35 meters. The azimuth of the back tangent is 270 degrees. And the common tangent is 300 degrees. Okay. Uh, if the radius of the first curve is 150 meters, determine now the radius of the second curve. Ay, clear lang to. Drawing muna tayo. Okay, sabi niya, perpendicular distance of the parallel tangents is 35 meters. Such that, the azimuth of the back tangent is 270 meters. Ito yung ating 270. Then, ito naman yung ating back tangent. And the common tangent has an azimuth of 300. So, ito naman yung ating common. This is your 300. And, parallel daw po sila. So, basically, ito na yung ating forward. Okay. Then, ito yung PT. Ito naman yung PC. Okay. Then, Zoom na lang yung PRC. Yung at curve. Okay. Exaggerated lang po yung curve. Such that the radius of the first curve is 100 50 meters
and the radius of the second curve is r unknown which is 150 meters then most likely the angle of intersection of the first and the second curve are equal. So your vertices Ano ba yung binigay sa given? Ayun pa pala. The perpendicular. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng perpendicular distance of the uh, parallel tangents is 35 meter. Perpendicular distance is 35 meter. By the figure alone, you can immediately solve the problem in the shortest way possible of a solution. Diba? Diba? Ganun ulit tayo. Triangle. Right triangle. Diba? Track natin yung triangle na yan. common naman yung ating i so that is angle of intersection the common tangent and the perpendicular distance of 35 meters triangle okay kunin muna natin yung ating common angle of intersection i 1i2 is equal to i that is 270 and 300 or basically 300 degrees minus 270 degrees gives us an angle of intersection for both curves of 30 degrees nababasa po ba? Uh, pakiscreenshot na lang muna yung inyong uh, figure bago ko i-zoom okay nasundan sana yung figure habang ginagawa ko para mag-proceed ako sa solution. Okay? 30 degrees yung ating I. This is thirty. So from the triangle, we can simply solve for the common tangent. Common tangent sine 30 degrees is equal to 35 meters over the common tangent T1 plus T2. So, T1 plus T2 is equal to 35. 35 sine 30. Sine 30 is 1 half. So, 35 divided by 1 half is 70 meters. Ano ba? Sine 30. Well, oh yeah. Sine 30, 1 half. And given yung ating radius 1 which is 150 meters we can simply solve for t1 by right triangle ulit so gaya ng example kanina kailangan ko po bang ipakita yung right triangle yan na naman yung ating right triangle exaggerated lang po yung drawing ha pero kaya na lang magayos ng drawing later so r1 T1, T2. So, right triangle. So, T1 is radius 1. Tangent. Tangent. I over 2. Common naman yung angle of intersection. So, no worries. So, T1. Now equal to the radius of the first curve, tangent, common angle intersection, 30 degrees over 2. 
So, 150 tangent 15 degrees is 40.192 meters. Subtract ulit natin yan with the common tangent to compute for the tangent distance of the second curve. That is 70 minus 40.192 meters. Gives us the tangent distance of the second curve as 28.808 meters. Then, again, another right triangle for our second curve. Ito ulit yan. Then, T2, R2, right triangle, tangent po ulit yan. So... That is now uh, T2 over R2 is equal now to the tangent of the common angle intersection over 2. Or R2, which is R unknown for this problem, is simply equal now to the tangent distance of the second curve over tangent I over 2. Radius of the second curve. Simply. 28.808 uh, 28, 29 that is 70 minus 40.192 29 29 check new that is 29.808 over tangent 30 over 2, 15 degrees. Okay? The radius now of the second curve is now 29.808 over tangent 15 degrees. This 111.245. 245. So, yan lang naman po ang um, uh, ay parallel tangent. It will serve as our final answer. Ang ikli. Once you can interpret properly the data for a reverse curve like this parallel tangent, you can immediately solve all the unknowns or all of its parameters. And elements by basically trigonometric analysis lang po lahat yan. Know, triangle, puro nga right triangle. Oh. Naintindihan? Hello? 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 Naintindihan po? So, yan lang naman po yung ang parallel tangents.